strength to do it. The Heavenly Father is going to give us new bodies to have that physical strength to do it. Done, like, and the proper mind to govern a body of that type of power. Yeah, like uh, Yahusha said, uh, if this was my kingdom, my servants would fight. Let me go with this real quick. Uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after I will send many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Yeah, that's gonna happen when our Lord comes back. We're gonna have a lot of those uh the wicked, the super rich elite. They're gonna try to escape the day, the, the, you know, the day of the Lord. They're gonna try to hide in those luxury of uh, uh, underground bunkers. Yeah. And we're gonna go and find out where they at, and we're gonna snatch them up out of there, man. Right. They're gonna and, and the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, all those uh, uh, inter, international bankers, banker families. They all gonna go right into slavery, man. They're gonna be the first crops of slaves Hi. that's gonna serve Israel. Right. Psalm 148. Con, you know. Uh, uh, go to Deuteronomy 20 and start like around maybe the 10th verse. It's, uh... Yep, start at 10. Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse gonna, 10. Because the Lord's going to come back to do this world, uh, worldwide, not in not America. America is going to be totally destroyed. This is what the Lord's going to have us do after when we come back down from those ships. Right. Go ahead, Ozzy. God, this is Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 10. When thou comest not unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it. And it shall be, if it make thee answer of peace and open unto thee, then it shall be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee. So, hey. We're going to go into where these nations are, the, the ones that are remaining and alive, and hey, they're going to have to either open up their peace to us and, and, and bow down and submit. What, what did, uh, what did Xerxes in 300 say? He said, uh, uh, you, don't, you don't have to fight, you only have to kneel. So if you can fight, you're going to lose, or you can just kneel. No big deal. No, it's like, no big deal. Why would you want that fight? Right. Because all your armies, your militaries is going to be destroyed right. in the Middle East. Yep. You don't have an upstanding army to, to defend you anymore. So why would you want that fight? Okay. So they're going to have no choice but to, uh, to, to submit themselves. What did um, Beanie Siegel say in that movie, uh, State Property? Get down or lay down. Get down or lay down. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Cut. Uh, it's... That all, that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee. Hey, is that not what happened when uh, David was, was on the throne? Yep. You know, after he went to war and took down, you know, all those different uh, uh, nations, uh, armies. Yep. You know, the main nations that he went after was uh, the, the, the Edomites, the Philistines, and the Moabites. All the nations were subdued under him, but the main, the main enemy was, was, was Esau. He set up garrisons in Edom. Him and Joab, they went down there to Mount Seir and slaughtered every male in Edom. And what, what do you think that was doing when they was killing off the men but leaving the women alive? Yeah. Which what, what y'all what, what, what just extrapolate what you think was happening when they went into those, uh, uh, went into Mount Seir and killed off booty. the men. <laughs> and they was booty. taking all that, all that booty, man. <laughs> they were snatching them up. Literally. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> go, hey, go watch uh, 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 the first kingdom. Last watch, kingdom, bro. Last I mean, it's like in the last kingdom. Go watch uh, Game of Thrones. Yes, they show you in those type of uh, 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 kind you know, his historical pieces. Yeah. No, Conan. What did, what did Conan said? What is best in life? He said uh, to 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 uh, to have your enemy driven from before you, from before you. Uh, uh, they hear the lamentations, lamentations of their women. That's, that, was, that was the last one. And hear the lamentation of their women. Yep. And there was another one that said, uh, to, 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 to see the fall of your enemies, have them driven from before you, and the, to hear the lamentation of their women. The yep. crying for their men and the crying 
getting it in one. Yep. And, and, and when that happened in the ancient world, there was an order about it. You had to uh, uh, shave the, uh, the woman's head. Repair their nails. Yeah. 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 Somebody get that account when uh after they had to slay those uh it was the wicked jakes that was joined unto Baal Pior. They was uh they were committing whoredom with the uh the media night women okay. and they were worshiping uh, uh Baal Pior and uh was it uh Phineas if I'm not mistaken. Basically uh they had to go and basically kill Jake because they were actually uh committing whoredom with those women, worshiping that that guy. I think it's in Numbers, the 30, 31st Numbers. chapter. You can finish where you at, somebody look for that uh, Numbers. That all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee, and they shall serve thee. They're going to be our slaves. Like it says in uh, Isaiah 14, man, they, uh, uh, those whose captives, those whose captives, uh, uh, slack you, I'm butchering it, but, uh, where it says and they shall take captive them captive who captive they were. Yeah. Okay? And, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Yeah. Okay? So those who enslaved us, they're gonna be enslaved. And he that leave in the captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead. Tom. Verse 12. And if it will and if it will make no peace with thee, will, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege. And when the Lord thy power hath delivered, hath delivered it into thine hands, thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. Hey, and where is battle acts and weapons of war? That's right. Uh, we, and we did it multiple times, man. We did it, you know, uh, under Joshua. We went into the land of Jericho. David, you know, and, and his men did it. Okay. It, it's, it's happened numerous times, man. Go ahead. 14. Verse 14. But the woman and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself, and thou shalt eat the spoil of thine enemies. So basically, we're going we're gonna to enjoy the spoils. We're going to use their children. We're going to. Uh, 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 they're going to have to be taught just like how we in Esau's world we have to be taught we have to be indoctrinated with his his wine and philosophies but their children are going to be indoctrinated with, with, with the scriptures right. in the kingdom okay and we're going to use their women All right, she's going to be uh, handmaids she's going to be our cleaning lady okay she's going to be uh, 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 concubine. a concubine if, you, if that's what you want Hey. Slave, what I say. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's yeah. what a concubine that's the purpose that she serves yeah. that, and that's part of being a king that's part of having a rulership mentality yeah. that's something that, that was erased from our people being here in this captivity for too damn long yeah. okay our people just want to coexist with everybody they don't right. they don't want they don't want a dominant position our people don't have that um that, that rulership mindset no you know like one they're two. too used to being the subject yeah you know, they still in 